I'm Dr. Scott Spear and you're watching the Plastic Surgery Channel. Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Adams, Chief Medical Officer of the Plastic Surgery Channel and welcome to PSC Hot Bites, our newest program where the channel's experts cut to the chase and provide real answers to questions you want to know on hot plastic surgery procedures, topics, or technology. We want to help dispel the myths and marketing spin that often plagues patients and help you get the real story from our credible team. Joining me today via webcam is Dr. Peter Rubin from Pittsburgh. Um, I want to switch gears a little bit to a, a topic that you know, you've been a leader in both educating and research on this topic of stem cells. And you've really added a lot to all of our understanding of stem cells. You hear out there, there was a recent uh, American Health and Beauty um, post on the internet that reported about stem cell facelifts. Uh, and you get to see that, patients call about that. Um, what do our viewers need to know about stem cells, particularly with regard to this notion of doing a stem cell facelift? Well, stem cells have, have been more prevalent in the media than ever before. And a lot of that is driven by the fact uh, that it's now known that our own fat tissue is a very rich source of adult stem cells. And these cells have a lot of promise. They are derived from our own body, uh, that they have uh, potential healing powers, uh, and, and they may be used to treat a variety of diseases. With that said, uh, as promising as this technology is, uh, there are limitations in what these cells can do, uh, and importantly, there are safety uh, and uh, government regulatory issues uh, that, that will limit the use of these therapies. So our readers need to know that while this is promising technology, there is not one FDA-approved uh, treatment for uh, stem cell, uh, excuse me, there's not one FDA-approved treatment for use in aesthetic medicine or surgery in this country right now what what um what is your if you could look into a crystal ball what do you think we'll be uh doing with stem cells in aesthetic surgery in the next 10 years you know i i think that stem cells uh will likely have a very important role in aesthetic surgery uh but we really need need to stay to take a uh, very uh deliberate and careful steps in how we apply this technology for our patients. We need to do the proper research, uh, we need to do the proper studies up front and work with the FDA to make sure that these treatments are safe and effective in the way that we intend to use them. Well, you know, Peter, you know, really have been on the forefront of, of doing the research that needs to be done and we'll certainly look forward to future research and science that uh, you're on the forefront of. So. Uh, Thank you very much for taking time out of your busy, busy day to spend with us, and uh, we hope to have you on again soon. Thank you. So we hope you enjoyed this segment of PSC Hot Bites, and be sure to get your next bite on our website, theplasticsurgerychannel.com. Until then, we'll see you again soon. I'm Dr. Scott Spear and you're watching the Plastic Surgery Channel.